Hi guys, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Have you been craving for something comfy, cozy, cute, a little bit mystical in your life? If you have, you are in the right place. Today, we're going to be playing Little Witch in the Woods. This is a indie game that I stumbled across on Steam last week. And honestly, this game looks like it has everything I've been ever needing in my life. So I have to have to play this game. It looks the perfect mix of Stardew Valley, of course, and a little bit with like magic in it, obviously, hence the title. Anyways, it looks so freaking good. And I really, really want to make a little playthrough of this game. So a couple things first. Obviously, this game is an early access, as you can probably see in the corner. That means that this is not exactly the final version of the game, but it still looks very good. And the gameplay is very, very good. <laughs> since I'm recording this intro after I made the first episode, so yeah. Anyways, for this playthrough, we're gonna be exploring and discovering this game together. I honestly had no expectations. I had never heard of this game before. So yeah, today is definitely my first impressions and just the first look into this game. So today's video is going to be a really cozy, chill, minimum editing playthrough of Little Witch in the Woods. I do really hope that you guys enjoy this cozy gaming Monday situation that hopefully we can continue on the channel. So make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up if you do enjoy it, because it does really, really help out when we are playing some different games on the channel. I think that's all I want to say for now, so let's just jump into the game, shall we? Let's let's start our journey. I hope you guys will enjoy this game because I've been low-key wanting to bring some new content to the channel in the form of other cozy games, including Animal Crossing. So I hope we can make this a tradition. Okay, we have Ellie over here. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about... This is starting off good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really bad at reading a dialogue, but I will try my very best. So buckle in for your good night story over here. Oh, this is also your warning because this game has a lot of dialogue. A lot, especially in the beginning. That much I know. So buckle up. Ellie, I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom! A carrot in the men's restroom. What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher's bawling. Like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, You'd be in jail right now. Ooh, Ellie, what did you do? Or six feet under, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. <laughs> I love the back and forth. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stop the witch's house in Hylion? Well, all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches? Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneak into the forbidden room twice. Three times. 
I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basements. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking my shoes off when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is highly on? The first thing to do is to take your sho shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived to Hylion. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, also dad did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Keyword gained, laced up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylion. Okay, that is the first bit of dialogue over there. So something about shoes. We are on a train to a witch's house, I guess, to be an apprentice. And yeah, we've done all kinds of crazy shenanigans, it seems. The food was really delicious though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette was overflowing with cheese, crab meat, the pink salmon seasoned with the... I'm getting hungry. Oh, frozen strawberries with whipped cream. Uh, I feel you, Ellie, and I'm also very hungry. <laughs> it's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I caught I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Hylion. I'll definitely try the Nubicula cupcakes there. That's if we get to Hylion before I get bored to death. Oh my goodness. Okay. So some things I want to mention. Yes, there is a lot of dialogue in this. So yeah, in case you guys are wondering, it's going to be a lot of reading out whatever is happening. Oh my goodness, what did I just press? Oh, the, the controls here are a bit strange, but yeah, one pro about this game, and that's also why I'm playing it right now, is that it works on Mac. Yes, you heard that right. It works on Mac and I'm playing it on my MacBook currently and it works just fine. So that's the reason why we can actually play this game here today. So let's chat with our bartender guy and kind of uh, discover the story a bit more. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, you want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Well, then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol though, is that okay? But then it's, then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Okay, so we can like use the keywords to chat with people. What's up? Laced up boots? Tell me about boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? For what? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylion Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. 
Those are some nice boots. Right? Mom bought them to me. When she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. It sure is amazing you're, you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. <sighs> you gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Ha! Huh. Hearing you two speak, I have a feeling boredom won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring, thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard of that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. <laughs> Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know? You have a point. All right, Taz. Press N for keywords. Okay, awesome. Oh, sorry. Was definitely not meaning to do that. <laughs> I mean, we could still chat with him, but since the beginning intro in this game is quite long, I think we want to kind of try to move on. Okay. We don't check passenger outfits. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort. I can't define them all. Then, what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Sometimes we have delays once in a while due to their shoes. But again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Okay, so... He's pretty much telling us that they don't really like check the passenger outfits. Okay... I thought he had more more things to say. Okay, let's chat with our ordinary passenger here. Hello, Roy. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on your way to Hylion, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, all habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor of my school. Well, I used to be a sh soldier. So what brings you here? Lace up boots! Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take off your shoes when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny? Is there bartender? The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized I was deceived. <laughs> oh my god, the shoes. The shoes, though. Okay, it's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylion for the first time. Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more right now. You don't need to be too upset. I was tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Roy is so cute. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. 
Ah, there is a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. Oh my god. <laughs> three more days. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Okay, so yeah, I did try a bit of a trial playthrough or I, I tried to record that part as well, but it was really late and my brain was starting to get confused and there's a lot of dialogue in the game. So I think this is as far as I got in my first playthrough trial. So after this, I really don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to explore the rest of the game together. I hope, I really hope that we get through the intro and we actually get into like some proper gameplay. I honestly don't know if the whole game is going to be so dialogue-y. I'm low-key hoping it's only the beginning. Although we are here for a good story, aren't we? All right now, stay seated. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm bored. <laughs> but you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out of the window if you're so bored. Yay, look outside. Look at that mountain. Virgil, shut up and look out the window. At the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening. So just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crook? Cop pants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Is it? Okay, I, I really didn't read anything about this game, so we're in this together, guys. Like, I don't know anything. I just saw, like, pixel art and cozy, comfy, witchy, cute vibes. So I'm like, I'm here for this. <laughs> Hey, Boa Constrictor. Constrictor. Okay, if I'm also mispronouncing some stuff, I'm sorry, but Nino speaks so good English always. The correct line is, what's going on? <gasps> There's no station here. Why are we stopping? Ooh, I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a Boa Constrictor, though. I don't care. Please just say there is some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. <gasps> okay, let's see what's happening. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? Um, the train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes. Are we like in a dream or something? <laughs> train will stop until tomorrow morning. Can we go outside? Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Meanwhile, please avoid, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! <laughs> oh, we're going to the shining tree. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Oh my god, I already feel like this is gonna be a disaster. I'm like not very good at new games. Could we like chat with him about the thingy? Okay. Oh, there's a lot of things to this. I think today we can only like really scratch the surface of this game oh wow it's so dark if you're scared we can go back to the train i love it let's hurry okay we have memo board you can view the memo board to view your current jobs okay where was it tab search for the shining tree okay not that way okay i got it <laughs> Oh, we have saved. Something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> it's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Okay, you have to be like really in the right spot to be able to climb. <gasps> it's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret. Oh, no. I bet there is a path beyond here. Ooh, spoopy. What is this? 
Looks like a little honey pumpkin. What's that? The type of weeds that grow in the forest. The mines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find a nucleus. Or just calculate to return to the train. That can't happen. Let's look for it. Is it here? Is this it? No, okay. You can temporarily get rid of with some potion. Find the core. It should be somewhere near the vines. Hello? Oh, it's there. It's there, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm like so happy. I found something that I was supposed to. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I really suck in new games. Yes! It's time to explore! Oh my god, I, I don't know, this game is so pretty. Please don't use that word. That word gives me anxiety. Sprint. Sprinting uses stamina. Okay, stamina is like... I don't mind. I don't need to sprint right now, I hope. What is here? Okay, hello. Ooh, I acquired a branch. <laughs> Listen to this. I, okay. Since I'm streaming on a streaming, recording on Mac right now, I'm hoping you guys can really hear the music. I don't know why I can't like get the music to be like very loud on the recordings. But this is beautiful. I'm in love with this game. Honestly, it's so freaking cute. What is that? There's some magical flowers here that make noise. I'm just gonna do some... Get those branches, do some exploring. Something in the bro bro brush here. Like, how can I catch this? I feel like I should be able to catch that somehow. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna give up for now. Oh, we found an apple. Yeah, I honestly, I can't wait to have a PC so I can have like a proper <laughs> keyboard and stuff for this. I might be like missing some controls because I'm on my laptop. Oh, there is a hidden well there. Oh, no, guys, this game is so pretty. And I kind of want to just like explore and collect everything. The shining trees at the peak of the mountain. So go quickly if you want to see it. No, do we have like time or something? No, I want to explore everything. Okay, so I assume since it should be like on... Yeah, 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 okay. I guess I'm going to the wrong direction or something. Because <laughs> they're like, where are you going? I need to go to the top of the hill. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I've always hated mountains. I hope I didn't like miss out on something. There are some mushrooms here. I'm like, do we... I guess the time is not moving, right? It's like 10 p.m. the whole time. I kind of want to do some exploring and stuff. Yeah, I feel like eventually I'll have like some tools or something. I can feel... I have like the hand... Um, hand icon in the corner there, but I'm not sure if I can change my weapon right now. And I guess I can't catch anything by hand. So we are moving on. Oh my goodness. But look at this. Everything's so pretty and cozy and the music is amazing. Like I'm gonna be so upset if 
the recording doesn't catch it and I have to fix that for next time because the music is everything I'm like getting chills from this this is such a vibe uh, why are there so many things blocking the path it looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern oh they're witch here there was or who knows how it works shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well okay so there is some sort of pattern that we possibly know how to get rid of that thing now okay i was like we can learn some spells but <laughs> i guess we've been in school already we found the gigantic shining tree the same one we saw from the train window ah uh, this is a bitter grape tea tree I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. No, can this game get any cuter? The butterfly seems to be glowing. Blue moon butterfly. Yes, they give off a subtle moonlight. Oops, okay. What did I miss there? Oh, strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? They are extremely fascinating. Isn't this a pretty magnific magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. Okay, I, I think I missed a little bit of something, but... <laughs> What about those two being together? Okay, they're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Anyways, we found something, right? Like, I'm such an Ellie, am I? I'm like, I don't... I didn't pay attention, like what? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. I hope we have like unlimited time to explore because I kind of want to do that. And I kind of want to, there is like so many things to like discover, like just in general about the controls and everything. So let's go back the way you came up. Okay, there might be some strange things. Yeah, I already saw, but you guys were like rushing me. I'm like one of these players that I need to like discover everything, every nook and cranny, I'll be there. Trying to like find some secrets. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should be a nice bed. That's not funny. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. Okay, just let me know how to do it. Do you think I can just sneak up and grab it? Wait, you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Okay, now I need to read so I know what to do. Ooh, okay, interesting. Let's see how this works. Q and W. We're changing the tools. Okay, awesome. Approach it and draw it. Okay. We can totally do that. Okay, now it explains like why we couldn't like swap the tools. I was like way ahead of myself. I'm in love. Oh my goodness, I feel like this game is going to be amazing. I'm so here for this. Open encyclopedia. Oh, look at that drawing. See details. Habitant, time of appearance. Okay, this kind of reminds me of Research Story, another upcoming game that you can play the demo of on Steam, which is also going to be my next obsession, Loki, not gonna lie. Tools used. Okay, great. It's registered in the catalog. Let's see now. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? The tool. Yeah, we don't have the tool. Not much you can do then. But I want to do it right now. 
Me. Getting to the witch's house in Hylion is more important. Is it though? Is it though? I'm just gonna like stay here and like collect some rocks. <laughs> uh, I'm obsessed, guys. But yeah. Oh, there is like something there, but we. I, I hope we. I, I have a feeling we can probably come back to this area at some point. Because I can see, like, I should be able to go up there and stuff. Or can I go up then? Okay. Maybe we'll just miss the train and, like, never go to Hylion and just stay in this forest for the rest of our lives. I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. I am here to explore. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not sure, like, what items are, like, part of the game art and what can I, like, currently pick up and stuff. Okay, so... For some reason, I can, like, draw these bad boys. What do I want to draw them, though? Uh, probably for some research purposes. You don't have the right... Oh, okay, I thought we could fix this. Anything this way? At least we can't go there yet. Okay, I can collect these. So I think I'm gonna gather whatever I can just in case, because you know, in these type of games, you never know what you need. <gasps> we found something! What is this? Oh, it's so pretty. Like, am I supposed to be able to do something? Or it's just like pretty. There is a, like a tree up there that looks interesting. Okay, I feel like we can probably come back here at some point to do some stuff. We'll keep that in mind. There is a hidden flower up here that we cannot do anything about right now. I want to also see why we can draw these things. Maybe we can add them to our encyclopedia. Why can I not draw? Okay, fine. Just collecting them all. Oh, can't wait to catch some butterflies. <laughs> They're so cute. I love a good pixel art game. Like, I'm sucker for that. What is this? And there are some peculiar items around, I have to say. <gasps> okay, and there is that thing that we can't catch yet. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy little witch in the forest if you do make sure you like this video and make sure you like it a lot because it is gonna help me out a lot with the youtube algorithms and hopefully we can make this into a regular series on the channel i don't know i really want to play this game at least a couple of times but maybe we'll make cozy gaming mondays a thing we'll play a new game because that is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time on the channel. Like, I don't want to be focused on one game only. But obviously, like, Animal Crossing is not gonna go nowhere. So don't worry about that <laughs> either. But I hope you guys enjoy a new game as much as I am. Where was that, like, well thing? Oh, maybe I came... Yeah, maybe it was like one more thingy down. <gasps> no! It's a glowing cat! 
have never seen like anything like that before we have to go no we are going after that creature like stop that train stop that train where is it where did it go <gasps> glowing cat no don't run away from us <gasps> i hope we can pet like make it our pet oh no i think the cat dropped something and left what's this looks like witch chalk <gasps> okay i see we can draw on the pattern with this this witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit uh, it won't work if it gets erased like this you can draw the pattern again using same chalk same color char chalk Ooh. <laughs> okay since i have the one i just picked up earlier let's draw it again with that should i draw the witch pattern again using one yes the cat is on the other side of the fence we are doing it we're going after our glowing cat friend. Huh, where did the cat go? <laughs> and just as I'm talking about cats, Brutus appears and head butts my feet. <laughs> Look, Virgil, there is a house. <gasps> That's a witch's house, isn't it? Looks pretty old. Oh my god, we found our own witch house. I guess we, we can talk to the match. <laughs> I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. We're never going back to that train. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at, a, at the witch's house? That's true, but we are going in. Sorry, Virgil. Well, we are choosing our own adventure. Is anybody there? Seems like nobody's here. This could be an, an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. Oh my god, it's adorable. Is this going to be our house? <laughs> it really is an abandoned house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although not that clean. It doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution... It's okay to sleep one night or so. It's better than sleeping outside. Why do I low-key, high-key think that we are gonna sleep here for more than one night? I hope. It looks so cozy. Okay, actions such as collecting and sprinting, easy stamina. You can... Okay, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Do we want to, like, clean up? Oh, this is a bit messy. We'll just sleep here for one day. Who cares? Okay, we can't clean anything. Fine, I guess we'll just sleep then. <gasps> Adorable! No, the art style, this game! No, honestly, like, I'm in love and I can hear the train! <laughs> the train has left without us! What's with that face? You slept in a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt... But I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on a train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait. Isn't that actually the sound of the train? Wait, what? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry! I think we're gonna miss it. Like, we're gonna miss it for sure, aren't we? That really is the sound of the train. It's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. I'm glad I didn't sleep in. I'm sure we didn't wake up in time. Oh my gosh. Look at all these cute thingies. I can't wait. I'm gonna spend so many hours just like exploring and catching creatures and doing cute stuff. Love this art style though, it's so cute. I kind of want to explore more, but dang, train. We're just like rushing back. No, I knew it. Where's the train? Haha, <laughs> looks like that bird was imitating the train sound. But where is the train? And why is Brutus on the table with me? Gatitos are not allowed on the table. Oh, he's such a silly boy. 
Okay, Brutus is here. I'm sure you can hear him purring. Okay. Oh, where is the train? Where is our train? It probably went to Hylion. Then what do we do now? Let's take a look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. I mean, I'm sure Ellie doesn't care about the train, actually. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. Oh, poor Virgil. What is that thing? It's called Gaga Bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fo fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga Bird. Oh my god, that like train noise was driving me crazy. A letter. Oh, they left us a letter. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the perky perkly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will be back and there is a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send Enit and Arden my regards. Or Enit? Enit? Yeah, right? Bartender. They said there is a village, Virgil. Aren't you even a little upset that we missed a train? Yeah, Virgil, no, she's not. <laughs> We're not upset. There's a village nearby. But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It's pro was probably too dark to see. Let's see if there is a sign. Oh, cleaning the house. We might have to stay there. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right! <laughs> You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add some more things to the incomplete Plapedia. Can we not take the letter? Yeah, no. We just need to find a village. Okay, we have to log in three more things, clean the witch's house. Like, so bad that we have to stay in this beautiful forest and the cute cozy house, right? Instead of going to some place that doesn't even like laced boots lace-up boots is there like a map of the area at some point oh my god i can't wait to have a proper setup soon soon pc is gonna happen you guys what was i talking about oh my god distracted distracted i hope you guys are enjoying this game let me know in the comments what you think if you're new to the channel or if you have been here for a while, I really appreciate your support for a new game. Let's draw whatever this thing is. But yeah, I do really freaking love cozy games and I just can't wait to share more of them on the channel. <laughs> what is this thing and why is it so cute? Oh, I can't. Pumpkin Terrier? No. Okay, you can even see the thing. <sighs> oh, so cute. I can't. My heart is gonna explode. They are so cute. Like, when I can, like, catch these things, there will not be an end. But this part really reminds me of this other game. Oh, we have, like... Okay, amazing. So we need one more thingy. To finish that quest line. Maybe this thing? It is. She's so cute. The art. Oh my goodness, this game makes me so happy. Let's shake some stuff out of here, shall we? Okay, what did we get? Okay, we just like, okay. Let's go back to the house. No, I want to see the well, right? We still didn't quite figure out what was going on here. Or if there is anything to be figured out down here. So yeah, this game is early access on Steam. It works on Mac and Windows, which is so amazing. So those of you out there who are trying to video game on Mac, you might want to check this game out. 
if you feel like you would enjoy it i think there is i'm not sure i don't think there is a discount for this anymore i think it was for the first week but i think i paid around 11 euros for this game so it's very very affordable very very cute okay there's the <gasps> what is that thing no way can i can i can i like reach there i think this is the way to the village but the little honey pumpkin is in the way let's go to the witch's house and also clean up okay like that's the way to the village and there's like some creature there and oh my god oh my goodness there was like so many cute things in this game like i just cannot i just can't it's so cute and the music the music is everything okay i didn't even read any of the dialogue take a look at the bin over there might have a potion how did you know what bin what is a bin it's a quest mark all i see is dust and cobwebs that we need to clean up exactly let's find something useful while cleaning i wonder whether the witch is the one who used to live here this place is probably very old they must be eating and living well somewhere in lucerina 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 or two oh my goodness some of these names she really messed up the house or maybe the spiders did this reminds me of your room my room was cleaner than this yeah 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 <laughs> yeah right <gasps> we found a witch's bookshelf technically it's a bookshelf that the witch was using then that's the same as a witch bookshelf i'm not going to read a book though i'm tired of books a poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books what does that mean because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person <laughs> stop nagging I read enough books at school. Hmm, witch history. There's so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants. Plants was living here. Jeez. I should store any books I get in here. Oh, we don't have any books. Okay. No, we don't want to sleep yet. Was that the last thing? Oh, we found a notebook. Might be useful later. Well done with cleaning. It's also messy in the front of the deck desk over there stop posting me around i finally managed to get out of school here okay <laughs> there's some dust over there ellie don't leave food behind ellie i told you not to go inside the principal's office ellie you should have listened oh this is a witch elevator that's why you have to listen to the teachers hurry up and go down what if there's a scary monster you think so oh i'm so excited Oh my goodness. So much cleaning to do though. Look at this. <laughs> this must be the dispensary. We can probably make potions with proper tools. Awesome. You should definitely do some clean cleaning again. Really? Extractor. I used to use it so many times at school. It's much smaller. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's broken. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, we need to fix that. Okay, I feel like we need to like fix everything. Clean up everything. What does our tab say? Find a glass bottle. Clean the house. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here. When my pockets are full. Awesome. Okay, so from what I can tell, you definitely like very slowly discover the game and the mechanics and everything. We found a cauldron. I think this was made by the blue lighting workshop. The style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use this one? Of course. 
okay, we need ingredients. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this this <laughs> this seems like it's gonna ex end up in explosion. Crafting potions. In order to craft potions, you need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle di direction. Carefully review the recipes. Okay. Ga gotcha. Still. Cauldron looks great. Yeah, this looks really cozy and cute. Like, we can make potions. We can acquire some random stuff from the floor. We can clean up boxes and discover roasters. You have to put in ingredients and just wait. It's awful. You can't simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting. Seems to be in bad condition, however. Okay, it's missing a string, handle. Yeah, I feel like we have to go to the village to get like some, some thingies. Can we use the cauldron? Okay, not yet. I'm like, let's get into potion making straight away. We don't know any potions. We don't have any ingredients. Okay, what a mess under here. What's this? Lunar oil? <laughs> there we go. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There is also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Hmm. I don't know what kind of text this is. Ah, oh, ancient witch language. <laughs> you mean I learned how to read these strange symbols at school? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe, moon, something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look at if you remember later. Okay, old memo. Okay, item has been moved to storage. An old memo written in an unintelligible language. I think I learned the language a while ago, but I can't remember. Okay, awesome. I, like, I feel like Ellie is my sole animal, honestly. Yeah, I should put that away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. and There is no use for it now. Okay, finished cleaning. Seems like something dropped on the floor. Okay, let's check our recipes quickly. Curse lifting candy, lunar oil. So many things to discover, oh my goodness. Let's like pick up these things that are... My inventory is full, what? What are you talking about? Okay, move all. I think we can kind of like move everything in here for now. I think we can, if we need those, and probably acquire more later on. Okay, conveniently enough, we found the potion ingredients, didn't we? <laughs> Are witches usually this sloppy, right? Like, just like ingredients lying on the floor? I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy, or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Maybe there is a monster in here. <laughs> I'm done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them now. Okay. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of... Mm-hmm, okay, we can make the potion for the for the weeds that are that are blocking our way. And let's check that. Alright, let's do it. Awesome, okay. So let's try to focus on these. Stage four, don't stir should be easy. Potion commonly used for gardening. Weed terminator potion. Be sure to think about bad plants when brewing or risk a tasteless veggie disappearance. So random. Okay, squishy chub full fur extract. Oh my God, those squishy chubs are so cute. Which flower extract? Okay, one and one. Put two in an extractor. Okay, but I guess we have the ex extracts already, so we don't have to do that. Strong ingredients required. Ingredients prefer. Okay. Okay. I think we should. We got this. We should got this. 
Okay. I thought that's what I needed for it. Yes. But I don't need two for that, though. Well. I hope. It's not gonna use all of that. Okay, we made a potion! <laughs> Amazing! Awesome! The stubborn weed extermination extermination potion is complete! It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's go throw it on the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. Okay, throw it on the pumpkin and make sure you... Okay, this is temporary. Okay, I totally got this you can use quick slots okay exit before we accidentally use it i love our little basement workspace okay now we can load and save okay so i think we're more or less like done with the very basics you can now save and load from the cabinet on the first okay awesome Let's do that straight away. Save. Thank you very much. I think... I'm not sure. I'll check check it after I've done recording. If you can have several saves or you can only have one. Oh, we can take... I'm dying for a nap. I'm actually filming this straight after I just did our koala hunt stream recently. Where we took home two koalas and hit 8k subscribers. Thank you so much for that, by the way. <laughs> Again, you guys are awesome. So yeah, I actually continued playing after that stream. So I'm dying right now. I'm dying for a nap, aka a good night's sleep. Uh, you can't. Uh, can you can take... Who, who makes these rules? I think you can take more than one nap per day, but... Fine. <laughs> Fine, fine game, whatever you say. Okay, so a couple of things I want to mention before we continue. Um, yeah, this game is early access. Oh my goodness, I should probably stop the time before I start talking, shouldn't I? Let's see if opening our storage is gonna stop the time. No, it's not. How do we stop the time, though? Is this not like Stardew Valley? Hmm... I guess this will stop the time, but I thought it would be cuter to watch the little witch while I talk. But yeah, this game, anyways, it's an early access game, so it's not ready yet. I'm not like exactly sure what is the right um, term or how we exactly do you define early access game. But yeah, it might change in the future a little bit. It's not the final version of the game, so they might like add more things or fine-tune some things. I mean, to me, it seems like a very, very good game already. I mean, we haven't... We didn't get so far yet. But I'm thoroughly enjoying this, and I can't wait to explore this cute, cute game more. But yeah, I'm getting quite tired right now, and I think... Even though we didn't get very, very far, we got, like, the scratch of the surface. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, I had so much fun and I'm having such a blast recording something new for the channel. So if you did find yourself enjoying Little Witch in the Woods, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'll continue part two from here. And we'll see what else we can explore in the village and all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of the game. Have you tried it yourself? Are you gonna try it yourself? Are you into these kind of games like I am? Because as I mentioned, I really, really want to bring on some new cozy games for the channel this year. And I hope you guys are all for it. Animal Crossing is obviously not going anywhere. I have a lot of plans for my island and some new fun stuff, but just to spice things up a little bit, it's good to keep, you know, your options open and have some new good games in your life every now and then. As I said, like, I play so many games and yeah, oh my goodness. 
Anyway, so my brain is dying currently. I've been playing way too many hours in a row right now. I hope you enjoyed this little first part, first little snippet intro playthrough to Little Witch in the Woods. Let me know what you think. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next part. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.